Now, let's talk about different type of hernia repair. We have uh, two main type of hernia repair. One is the open surgery, which we basically make an incision over the top of the hernia. We go through the skin and soft tissue, which is the fat, and layer of the fascia. And then we identify the defect in the muscle. We push the hernia sac back in and place the mesh with it on the top or inside the defect. And then we close the skin. That's called open surgery. But we have also a called minimally invasive surgery, which we basically make a small, tiny little incision and then go in with a scope and a special instruments and then fix the hernia from inside. And whether we close the defect primarily or um, place the mesh or we do both uh, to reinforce the closure. And that's called minimally invasive surgery. Now here in this picture, you can see a sort of obese uh, uh, male with bilateral inguinal hernia and you can see the incisions that is created in the groin region to uh, enter into the uh, uh, muscle defect and you can see that the defect is uh, uh, plugged with the uh, mesh plug and then I uh, reinforce the uh, floor of the uh, uh, abdominal wall muscle with the uh, uh, flat portion of the mesh. So again, these mesh uh, that we put in are uh, non absorbable plastics that create a uh, foreign body reaction. Then uh, um, your body makes a scar tissue which grows into the mesh and incorporate that mesh and plastic into the muscle and create a very, very firm, strong tissue and that usually takes six weeks um, to uh, create uh, the uh, maximum uh, strength of the, of the tissue. And that's why uh, we recommend these patients to uh, stay away from heavy activities and exercise uh, for six weeks. So obviously, as you can see in the open surgery, we create a larger incision um, and uh, we go to the uh, normal skin and soft tissue and that creates some uh, trauma. And because we place the mesh on the top and the mesh creates a foreign body reaction and swelling, these patients have much more uh, swelling and discomfort after the surgery, which sometimes lasts up to uh, two to six weeks uh, um, uh, following the operation. But let's talk about minimally invasive surgery, which is the passion of mine over the last 20 years. And I have been doing uh, very difficult and complex uh, um, type of uh, um, operations with minimally invasive surgery technique, including uh, hernia operation. And uh, um, the, um, the uh, major advantage of this type of technique is obviously because you don't cut through the uh, abdominal wall in order to get uh, to the defect and fix that defect, uh, uh, you basically decrease the trauma to the abdominal wall and to the patient, and which uh, basically translate to the post-operative recovery. These patients, they have less post-operative complications, they have less pain after the surgery, they have less hospital stay, they have faster recovery, and they go back to work even faster. So minimally invasive um, surgery technique has been around uh, close to 30 years and uh, um, it's been um, done with uh, many surgeons uh, throughout the United States and world um, and there are uh, many studies comparing this technology and technique with the uh, open hernia repair. And uh, overall, it's been very obvious that they have a similar outcome as far as the future, whether they have uh, uh, complete repair or recurrences, uh, but they have definitely shown uh, all those studies uh, that uh, minimal invasive surgery has less acute and chronic pain after the surgery. Um, they have much uh, faster um, recovery. They have a better outcome uh, for the patients uh, uh, and uh, in a, on a lower uh, cost when you look at these patients uh, in long-term uh, follow-up. 
and um, it's been very very clear advantage uh, when you look at minimally invasive surgery hernia repair for people who have uh, recurrences of the hernia and also they have bilateral immortal or growing hernia um, it's very obvious that uh, uh, instead of uh, making too large incision in the groin area you can go to three little small incisions and fix both hernia at the same time and it's very obvious that they have less pain and discomfort after the surgery. But in the United States, uh, currently around 30% uh, um, of uh, uh, people who present with inguinal hernia, they go under minimal invasive surgery, and 30% uh, of people who have recurrences, they go under this type of hernia repair. Well, why is that? That in the United States, even currently in 21st century, um, with uh, all of those studies showing the benefits and advantages of this compared to the open, we still performing majority of hernia surgery with the open operation. So one of the reasons is that it's difficult to uh, master. Um, there's a very long learning curve for surgeons that coming out of the uh, residency and uh, when they finish the surgery, um, residency, they have to go through many um, operations before they get master of this. And um, sometimes the result of uh, this hernia repair um, on each surgeon is not as good as others. So in other words, uh, some of the surgeons, they don't have the mastery of performing this operation uh, in order to have the better outcome compared to the open surgery.